Behold the days come says the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the south. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of time. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Through his cunning he shall cause deceit to prosper under his rule. Also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand.
ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. What thing soever I command you, observe to do it, thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And, if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. The eye that mocketh at his father, and despiseth to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pick it out, and the young eagles shall eat it. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens.
Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf, and the young lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, and a little child shall lead them, and a little child shall lead them. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic. We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers, and the melons, and the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house, and hailing men and women, committed them to prison. A man that is an heretic, after the first and second admonition, reject. God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow? Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Salute Asyncritus, 
Phlegon, Hermas, Petrobus, Hermes, and the brethren which are with them. Salute, 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 salute Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermas, Petrobus, Hermes, and the brethren which are with them. Salute Hermes, salute Hermes. Salute Hermes, salute Hermes. Salute Asyncritus. Salute Philologus and Julia, Narius and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them. Salute Narius. Salute Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermas, Petrobus, Hermes, 
and the brethren which are with them. Salute Philologus and Julia, Narius and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them. Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle. who wrote this epistle. But the time will come when they will not endure sounder doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. I will incline mine ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the harp. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old.
And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island, and the satyr shall cry to his fellow. The screech owl also shall rest there, and find for herself a place of rest. of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island, and the satyr shall cry to his fellow. The screech owl also shall rest there, and find for herself a place of rest. came from Temen, and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Salah. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise, and his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand. form the light and create darkness, I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. 
I, the Lord, do all these things. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. Because of transgression, an army was given over to the horn to oppose the daily sacrifices, and he cast truth down to the ground. He did all this and prospered. Because of transgression, an army was given over to the horn to oppose the daily sacrifices, and he cast truth down to the ground. He did all this and prospered. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Because of transgression, an army was given over to the horn to oppose the daily sacrifices, and he cast truth down to the ground. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. And he cast truth down to the ground. In transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. Justice is turned back and righteousness stands afar off, for truth is fallen in the streets. When truth is falling into the streets, we're fighting for your soul on our knees. We're crying out. We care about you. Jesus loves you. It's an opportunity to have a conversation with each person out here. You would admit that you're hurting inside. God can heal the wounds of your soul.
away from the rebellion. You're rebelling against God. You know what you're doing is wrong. You know you're celebrating wickedness. You know you're celebrating sexual immorality. And there's nothing you can do with homosexuality. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Likewise, as it was also in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God.
For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, and ye shall be as gods. shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane, and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. And in controversy they shall stand in judgment, and they shall judge it according to my judgments.
Therefore we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. leave you orphans, I will come to you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. <laughs> 